Hello, hello, this is Notary Life with Kimmy. Well, hey guys, I decided to do a quick day in the life. Yesterday I went to a school. Today I have a couple appointments. Today is Saturday. Um, so I'm working. Are you working today? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> so today is Saturday. I've already had a couple general notary jobs. I am headed to another one at FedEx. And the one I'm mentioning at FedEx is they needed two witnesses for their documents. So always doing your screening. Make sure you inquire as to how many witnesses. So I am going to provide the witnesses. I have two. Do you have a witness list? Do you have someone you can call as you do your general notary work or long signing work? And if they ask for witnesses, can you provide them? So on your witness list, that might be someone like a mother, father. It could be a sibling, relatives, friends, anybody who wouldn't mind making a couple of dollars. So I usually add $25 per witness. Um, so if I'm charging a 50, it'll be 75 for one witness or hundred if I have to provide two. So just think about that. Sometimes I do include Jeffrey for free. <laughs> that helps them with the cost. So sometimes I'll do that. But normally if I have to get a witness, it's 25 or $30, depending on where my witness is traveling from, because most people are not going to travel for free, right? So you do want to have a witness list. The other reason I mentioned the FedEx signing today is because I got another call while I was en route to FedEx and this other person needs something done, um, documents notarized. So I said, hey, you can meet me at FedEx. So I'm giving them a slight discount because I'm already gonna be out and about. And I told her if she meets me up there, I'll do it for one price. But if I have to meet her at another location, it's gonna be a different price. So sometimes I try to make it convenient for myself too because I don't mind saving her a few dollars and she's gonna meet me at FedEx. I'm going there anyway, right? So sometimes you got to have a business plan, see what that looks like. I do that quite frequently. If I can make it more convenient for myself, I'm going to do that because I don't want to be running all over town. Do you? So anyway, try to have you a couple of virtual offices is another tip in this video. That might be FedEx, UPS, um, the post office could be a virtual office. You can say, hey, I have a virtual office you can meet me at. Find a location close in your area that um, is convenient for you, where you don't have to drive so far, you can still make your money. Another spot for me is Dollar General. So I usually write these addresses down in my phone and I'll let the client know, hey, you can meet me in my virtual office, which is Dollar General in the parking lot. And I'll text them the address there and they can meet me at um, any of those locations that I mentioned. Panera is also very notary friendly. You can go in there and sit down. So if it's the weather is not right, you don't feel safe, any of those reasons, something close to your home, have a virtual office is another tip in this video. So this video will be about a little bit of everything. I just thought I'd um, throw a few things together while I'm out and about today. But again, I'm on my way to FedEx and I have two clients meeting me there. So how about that? And then the other thing, I just got a phone call for a divorce signing. So I won't take you there because we've done a divorce video. So check it out. It's in my playlist. Um, but I do have a divorce signing I'm going to go do after the two FedEx clients. So today is a pretty busy Saturday for me. Yep. What you doing today? Are you working? Let me know if you've had any general notary work or even if you had a long signing, drop it in the comments. All right. Well, I'll be back with more tips shortly. Bye. So, hey guys, I said I wasn't going to talk about the divorce signing, but I think I should because of what just happened. So the young man called me to schedule the appointment. I guess he's going to be paying for it. But the other person, the young lady that has to sign, his ex is calling me, asking me about the appointment. She said, well, what time did he make this for? It was supposed to be earlier. So she's calling a little upset, but I want to remain neutral as the notary because I don't know what's going on with their life, right? One. And two, if she needs a cancel and reschedule, we'll just do that. But the point of why I'm sharing this with you is because of divorce signing can be very combative. You're in the middle because he's trying to get her to sign. And now I'm in the middle because I don't even know her and he's telling me what's going on now. She's calling me. So just as confusing as this may be sounding to you, that's how I felt being in the middle. So just remain neutral. And I just told her, I said, oh, okay, well, ma'am, I understand you were not aware of the appointment. Um, just let me know when it's gonna work for you and we'll get everything uh, confirmed, okay? So I'm not saying, well, girl, yeah, he made that appointment and he ain't let you know what? You know, remain neutral. It's not your business as a notary. You're going to come across all kinds of things out here. So 
you want to you sometimes your therapist because they'll tell you their stories you want to be empathetic you want to be kind if you haven't already checked out the divorce video check it out um, I also did one about nursing homes how to handle hospital signing all of those things require a little extra patience on our part and as notaries we're not hired to be a therapist I get that but you want to think about it because a lot of times people are going through a lot in their life as I say all the time they're going to call you when the worst things are happening to them and when the best things are happening to them so we signed up for a lot being a notary did you know that you got your PhD <laughs> well you don't need a PhD but a little extra kindness goes a long way all right I'll fill you in on some more of my day shortly hey guys so I am sitting here with some of my clients they have been so kind to do a brief interview with me so you can see what happens when I go to a FedEx store so if you'd like to just tell them what happened with your mobile notary service today sure um, we needed a notary because we sold our house in a different state and Kimberly was kind enough to accommodate us and come to the FedEx store because our documents have to be FedExed back to our other uh, attorney. Um, so she was kind enough to accommodate us. She was on time. She was very efficient and she answered all of our, our, our questions. We could not be happier. Thank you all so much. I really appreciate that because I often tell my, um, my subscribers that it's important for customer service and to be available and be able to meet your client wherever. So you guys can see, I don't just talk the talk, but I walk the walk. I want to thank my clients again, and thank we'll you. see you later. Thanks. Bye. So hey guys, I am leaving FedEx. I was running a few minutes late to this appointment. I can take my mask off now. I was running a few minutes late to this appointment. I do not like to be late, but they didn't realize it. It was only like two minutes, but I like to be at all appointments like 10 minutes ahead of time. So I'm going to go ahead and interview one of my witnesses too. Hold on, Ma, you can wait. So how do you feel about being a witness sometimes? You can take your mask off or no. That's okay. How do you feel about being a witness? Oh, I feel okay. It's what do you have to do when you're a witness? Oh, I don't have to do nothing but sign the way they tell me to sign. <laughs> That's all. Uh, what about sometimes when we go and they give us treats? You remember that man gave us a hat that time? Oh, I just tell them thank you. I really appreciate it. Yeah, and then another lady gave you a purse. You remember that? Oh, yeah. I just tell them thank you. I really appreciate it. So would you recommend they ask their family members to be a witness? Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 And it's a nice way to make some extra change. Yeah, and you don't have to be talking either. You let uh, the, the lady representative do the talking and stuff. You don't have to talk to them. So as the witness, you don't have to do anything literally but show up and sign. So when you get those um, signing offers from a company, sign up as a witness. Make that $25 or sometimes more if it's short, not short notice. And then also don't forget to get your family members. They can also be a witness like my mom serves with me, my husband also, and I have a couple notary buddies. So get your witness list. Anything else you'd like to add about being a notary today? You've learned a lot through me. No, that's about it. That's it. All right, well, that's all she wants to talk about. Well, we'll see you guys in a minute. I have my other um, divorce signing coming up, so we'll be in touch. So I am still here in the parking lot at FedEx. I am waiting on my other client to get here. She is running late, but it's all good. Um, it's looking like a storm coming, so I wish she'd come on so we can get out this weather before the rain occurs. So the last signing was inside FedEx because she's not actually delivering her package with FedEx. We'll go ahead and do it at the car right quick. You've seen me do that before. Um, and I want to thank you guys for all your support. I hope you guys have checked out my new ebook. Start your notary business is not that complicated. And I take you step by step how to start your business. If you're already a notary, I give you tips on how to add services to your business. And I hope you like it. Let me know if you guys have bought the book. Any comments, any suggestions. Um, leave me some content, whatever you want to see for the videos in the future. And we're just growing like crazy. Our channel, I'm hearing great things out there. You, you're telling me you changed your voicemail because of the voicemail video. It's more professional now. Some of you have taken different assignments now that you did not even think about taking before. And I'm just proud of each and every one of you. I really am. I want you to know that from the bottom of my heart. I'm growing personally as I continue to do these videos. I'm open to your feedback. I love your comments. And I just wish all of you success in your notary journey also. 
So I'm gonna say bye. I won't be back after this because we're gonna wrap it up. My husband has somewhere he has to be. My mom's ready to go home. And I'm a little tired, y'all. It's been a long day. All right, so we just finished that last signing. I am leaving FedEx, wrapping up for the day, but I wanted to make sure something just happened. So whenever someone is paying you, I don't normally request payment up front. Um, sometimes I may get there. It's very rare and the signing does not happen and I just take a loss if for some reason it didn't happen. There are people that ask for money up front. I have a whole video on how to collect payments. But the reason I'm talking about this now is because my client tried to um, cash at me and it just forgot to hit send. So if I had just let her drive off without confirming payment, then that would have been really bad. So I always just kind of confirm payment is complete before you let them leave. Um, again, it's not my business practice to request funds up front. Um, some people do. And I don't have an opinion either way. I just don't think it's, I guess I do have an opinion. <laughs> I don't think it's good business to ask for the money up front. I just don't. Because I might get there and decide I'm not doing your notarization. And I don't want to refund you. So anyway, that's up to you. But I um, just wanted to let you know, always collect your money. Make sure it's in hand prior to them leaving. Okay. Bye. It's been my pleasure, guys. This is Notary Life with Kimmy.